Assalamu alaikum. My name is Ivan, aka Fish Hunter. And my name is Shahab, and I got a chance to shoot with Ivan. Ivan shared a lot of tips about photography with me. I have made a small video in which Ivan is sharing his secrets of hunting the faces. I would request you to watch the video till the end and share your feedback in the comment section. about this country. I think it's a country that uh, I read a lot about, watched many documentaries. I've been to so many places around the world and I never been here until a few days ago and I always thought it would be a very very special place with like incredible nature. I've heard one of the best hospitality and it's true uh, and the fact that it was not so accessible so in the last few years uh, made it sort of more mysterious to me. My work is, is very much uh, documentary oriented. So I'm really passionate about telling stories about people and places. Uh, I'm, I'm very interested in like trying to showcase what's going on in some places that people don't know so much about or have very limited preconceptions. I think it's, it's exciting to break stereotypes and like to uh, I, I, I am interested as well to like show people who have a positive impact on the community and people who are inspiring about what they do, what they are, what they represent. And for me, photography is not about just taking pretty pictures. It's really about the story behind the picture. I'm not a trained photographer. Uh, I, I've been taking pictures since I was a kid. I was always playing with camera, my old parents' cameras, uh, like film cameras. I was like uh, developing my own photos. And I always thought it was something fun or interesting to do, but I never thought it would become my job. And I studied communication. Uh, I worked as a copywriter, as a writer. And uh, when I moved to Paris, I started to take portraits of people on the streets and at the art openings. And I thought it, it was uh, something I wanted to share with other people on the internet. So I just started a blog in 2006 and somehow it, it picked up and people were interested. And after one year, my blog became my main, uh, my main activity. So working with magazines and then with brands. I'm not a camera geek, I have to say. For me, it's like uh, I'm using a pretty small and simple camera. So I'm using like the Alpha 7 uh, II. And I'm using only one lens. It's versatile enough for me to shoot portraits a lot, but even landscapes. So it's uh, 28 to 70. I take some pictures with my phone because sometimes you're in places where uh, having a camera is a bit too aggressive, so like when you are very close to people at a market or something, sometimes it's just easier to get a few shots with your phone, so I, I use both. I think I, I try to create a picture that is relatively simple to understand or read. I mean, to, sometimes it's nice to have a lot of elements, but as much as possible I try to have only a few elements in the picture, so city, and then I try to create sometimes a frame, so you can use a window, a door, a two trees, you can use elements to frame what you want to actually show in the picture, to make it at the same time more aesthetical and at the same time uh, more understandable. And then I would say I, I try to avoid too much symmetry. Sometimes it could be nice, but I think uh, there's something about symmetry that makes it look too perfect to be real. So I try to have usually the main subject kind of on the side. I think taking pictures is not just about capturing pretty stuff. It's uh, try to have a story you want to tell. Try to have a goal. Try to 
to focus on something you want to show. I think that's the most important thing. Use social media a lot. I think social media nowadays is you cannot skip it. It's, it's the way you're gonna showcase your work and people are gonna see it and potentially you're gonna get opportunities. So social media is essential. Practice, 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 practice. We learn every day. Every photographer will tell you he's been learning until the last day of his life. So every day you try something, it works, it doesn't work, you realize you can do this. I think it's good to have a, a, a photography culture and look at big photographers and what, see how they manage to capture things and try to understand their secrets. You need to find a way to enjoy it. it. It's not just something about settings and ISO. I mean, you should transcend the technique and en enjoy the art. Well, I don't do a lot of press production. I use uh, Snapseed, Afterlight, uh, VSCO. I use as well Photoshop Express. Uh, I, I, I try to not over, I mean for me I don't, I'm not interested in like improving people's body. I think like the whole face tune like trend is horrible. Like I think making people suffer because they're looking at the picture on the internet of people who are too perfect is really like very toxic for, for everyone. So I, I'm not making people look better by cleaning the skin or making them look more skinny. Uh, it's just sometimes a little bit the levels, some filters, but I, I, I don't want to change too much my pictures. My, my work is more genuine in some way. It sounds great. It's amazing to be a digital nomad, but you need to figure out how you're going to make it work and how you're going to earn money. So two different ways, either you create a community that is large enough for you to monetize and make a living out of it. Or you have a skill that you can monetize even with a small community that allows you to work remotely around the world. So, what, I mean, it, it's a lot of people now are dreaming of this life, traveling and na-na-na, but it's not easy, you know? It's like you have to, you have to fight a lot. You need to accept to work every day, every night. It's not like you are, you don't have weekends. I see myself developing my documentary work. I want to uh, direct documentaries. I want to keep being part of a storytelling that inspires people to have a positive impact on the society. I would like to uh, as well uh, create some uh, trips where I open it to people who are interested to travel with me to places where most people don't travel to. Lahore is just mind-blowingly beautiful and the food is so good. And obviously it's very safe, people are welcoming you, so Pakistan's in the bathroom.